Imagine a coat that is waterproof, stretchable, washable, stain resistant, UV blocking, breathable, self lubricating. It gets bigger as you grow. It's capable of automatically repairing cuts, rips, tears, and burns. A coat like that would cost you a fortune. Fortunately for you, you get one at birth and it's called your skin. Skin is the largest organ of the body. It weighs approximately 15% of a person's body weight. If you do the math, that's 15 pounds per 100 pounds of body weight. The entire system of skin is referred to as the integumentary system because the word integument means to cover. The skin is classified as a membrane. A membrane is simply a thin tissue covering. There are two basic types of membrane epithelial and connective. Here you can see three purposes of a body membrane. Skin is a cutaneous epithelial membrane. It will be the focus of our study. Here's a brief overview of some other types of membrane. Again, the primary purpose of each is to protect the body. The skin is divided into two layers, the epidermis and the dermis. The prefix epi means above, dermi is the Latin root for skin. Therefore, epidermis is the top layer of skin and the dermis is the lower layer of skin. The dermis is a bit thicker than the epidermis and contains two sublayers the papillary layer and the reticular layer. Here's a cross section of human skin. As you can see, there are many sublayers to the epidermis. Uh, because of time constraints, we're not going to explore all of them. We're just going to uh, focus on the epidermis and the dermis. Below the dermis, is a thick layer of subcutaneous tissue. The word cutis is another Latin word for skin. Therefore, sub, meaning below, cutaneous refers to deep skin below the dermis. This is the connection point between your skeletal muscles and your skin. Without the subcutaneous tissue, our skin would slide off of our muscles. This 3D diagram of the skin does a better job of showing the relative thickness of the two layers as well as the accessory organs like hair and glands that are scattered throughout the skin. In future uh, lectures, we'll be looking at the accessory pigments, we'll be looking at skin color and cancer, and then we'll be looking at some homeostatic imbalances to the skin. I'd also recommend that you watch the uh, YouTube video posted below this one which is a song that will help you remember the different layers of the skin. It's a little cheesy, I, I admit. Um, it wasn't written by me, I found it online, but uh, it, uh, it really will help you remember the layers.